We talk a lot about sustainability. We know the, th the three-legged stool thing. You know, we know the environmental stewardship thing. We, we're doing really well on that. You know, we can talk green buildings till we're green in the face. We kind of got the economic viability thing. Our work it has a lot to do with, with money and income and, and lives and jobs, and so we got that. The third leg of the stool, the, the social justice one, the kind of the social equity one, this is one that we don't know what to do with. A lot of us don't come out of design school. We don't work in jobs where social equity is an issue, really, at all. Here's our client, here's our project, you know, here's how we get it done, and we're good. But what participatory design does is that opens the door for, for that third leg of the sustainability stool, the social justice side. Because if you're talking to people, you're talking to people who are actually going to be the community, the users of the community, and the building is just going to be you know, an, an aspect of this community. So even if you don't own the building, you're never going to use the building, it's still going to have an effect on your community, you know, whether you have any vested interest in it or not. To engage people like that, that are essentially third party to the process in the design process, then you understand what their needs are and how the building can help you address the social needs of the community. If you don't ask them, you will find out. Once they're part of the process, then you understand how architecture and design and building can support that social justice metric.